It's just the best game in mass in 2023. I'm just gonna stay straight out. The Razor Raper V2 Pro is undoubtedly the best game in mass after 2023. Although it's released in 2022, it still holds up and exceeds the competition, and in my opinion, it even surpasses the works of Final Mouse and the high-end mouse brands. The first improvement over the Razor Raper Ultimate is the weight, which the old one was 74 grams. They got it down by removing the left side buttons, RGB, and internal improvements. Here's a chart that displays how they got the weight down. I have experienced both the Razor Viper Ultimate and the new Razor V2 Pro. The difference? Significant. The way I would describe it is aiming in games such as Valorant had become much easier as my arm could easily focus on the precision of my aim rather than trying to drag the mouse to the target. Since it feels as light as a feather, my flicks have gotten noticeably more quick and precise. It's just much easier to aim fast with. Tracking I did not notice a significant improvement, but that's actually a good thing since I thought the lower weight would actually make it harder to track with. This is because the shape is just so much superior to other mice, which is what I will talk about now. The shape of the Viper V2 Pro is identical to its predecessor, but that's mainly because the Viper's shape is just so good that I really don't know if they will refine it. Even if they do, it's going to be small changes. They removed the left side buttons to get the weight down, but I'm right handed so it doesn't really affect me. Even left handed users would still enjoy this mouse, just for the weight alone. I think if the side buttons aren't 100% essential to you, even if you're a left handed user, it's still a worthy upgrade. The shape is great for claw and fingertip grip, and it's wide in the front where most people put their fingers, and slim in the middle where most people don't, making this a mouse that feels easy and precise to grip while feeling as light as possible. I really have to give Razor credit where it's due, and this mouse is as close to perfection as where it is now. And yet they still don't have a beehive design, which is even more incredible. That right there is called being ahead of the game. That's all there is for shape and weight, which in my opinion are the two most important things in a gaming mouse. Some other things are that the buttons are just really snappy and satisfying to click with, especially compared to my Def Adder V2 Pro. The texture is grippy unlike some plastics, and the feet are PTFE, but I'll probably still upgrade to BTL or curve pads just to get that smoother glide. Compared to the final mouse Starlight 12, to be honest I really don't feel the need to upgrade. Anything under 60 grams is already so good that there are diminishing returns. So even though people pay hundreds for a final mouse, I still think the Viper V2 Pro is better due to it being wireless. But though some may not purchase this due to its $150 price point, I still recommend it as it's better than every other mouse out there, and yet it's this cheap. Alright guys, so I hope this video helps you in picking a mouse you want to buy in 2023, and this is like just undoubtedly the best one. So thanks for watching and have a good day.